I'm required to do under the standing orders, I will do so. Question number two, Marama Davids. My question is to the Minister of Local Government. Has she received any advice, including the cost to ratepayers, on the five polls taking place on the establishment of Māori wards? If so, what was that advice? The Hon. Nanaia Mahuta. No, I haven't received any specific advice about the cost of the five polls currently underway regarding Māori wards. Marama Davidson. Supplementary. Given the cost pressures on local government, is she concerned that the current polls seeking to overturn council's decisions on Māori wards are reportedly costing local councils up to $140,000? Mr Speaker, costs of standalone polls vary from council to council. I am aware, anecdotally, uh, that within each local government area, the cost of holding such polls is a concern to them. Supplementary. Does the Minister agree with Local Government New Zealand, who in their open letter to her said that, quote, the discriminatory nature of these polls is not acceptable, end quote, and that they, quote, damage race relations in our districts? I am aware of that statement, and they go on to add, either the poll provision should apply to all wards or they should apply to none. The discriminatory nature of these polls is not acceptable. More so, that view is held by the five districts currently holding the polls, which is why they are campaigning very hard to ensure that people participate before the 19th of May. Nice. Supplementary, does she agree that local elected members are perfectly able to make decisions on the establishment of Māori wards, just as they do with general wards, and the current situation is a double standard for Māori representation? That is certainly a strong view that is held by the sector representative group Local Government New Zealand and a range of councils who have advocated to local MPs as well as myself as Local Government Minister. Supplementary, is she concerned about the effect of these discriminatory polls that set up extra hurdles for Māori participation, given the UN has noted that Aotearoa has, quote, persistently low levels of Māori representation in local government? I'm concerned that the poll drives the wrong conversation at a local level where time has moved on, and actually the sentiment of local people have moved on because Māori are participating positively and contributing to wellbeing outcomes, and they want to, which is why they seek Māori representation. Nice. Supplementary. <clears throat> is she doing any work to change the law around Māori wards, given that the Labour Party voted for my Members' Bill in the 51st Parliament, which would have removed this discriminatory provision, and if not, why not? It is correct to say that the Labour Party had a very clear position on this. As we work these issues forward uh, for the Coalition and Confidence and Supply Government, it's important that I provide all the information available so that we can ensure that the issue of Māori representation and contributing to positive outcomes in the region is not overshadowed by negative sentiment which seeks to, to divide views at a local level. This issue must be owned at a local level and I'm sure we will get to the right outcome in time. Question number three, the Honourable Paul Goldsmith. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance and, and asks... Uh,